Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back at Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green of the Game Boy Advance. Last time, we explored Six Island, and got the final password to enter the Rocket Hideout, or that might have been the episode before, and then we explored the rest of Six Island. And today, we're actually going to go to the Rocket Hideout, so let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? We need to go back to, I do believe it was, Five Island? So yeah, let's go ahead over there and get that sapphire that we came, that we were tasked with getting when we got back to the Savi Islands in the first place. Let's see, do I have cuts and all that other good stuff? Yes, I do. Okay. We're good to go. We already took care of the rockets the last time we were here, so I'm not terribly worried about them now. And I'd rather not deal with you guys, especially a Pidgey, but eh, whatever. Come on, I can make it through the grass. There we go, Pidgeotto, that's actually worth some experience, especially being four levels higher than the Pidgey, so I'll take it. I probably should have healed up for the point powers, but eh, I forgot that I didn't do that the last time, I guess. Oh well. Yeah, it's starting to take longer to get the experience, but oh well, we'll live. You, I don't need to bother you. Let's see, we should be, yeah, right at the door. We got our second password. Goldine need log. Yes, nah, Chansey. Warehouse is door open. Yay. Those are some odd passwords, but I mean, I don't know what a Oh great, it's these things. I don't know what a Goldeen would need a log for. Unless it's dropping a log, I have no idea. Okay, so now we gotta figure out how to get to all these items around here. Let's see... You dropped me off right there, so that's not bad. Oh, no, I, for I didn't notice the, uh... I forgot about the little stopping tiles. Okay, where did you take me? Not quite where I want to go. Okay. And that's not quite where I want to go either. An upgrade! Uh, if you equip that to a Porygon and trade it, it'll evolve into Porygon 2, which has much better stats all around and really good special attacks, so that's awesome. Terry, I'm going to go ahead and put you out front, let you do the honor since you're the lowest at the moment. And I think a lot of these guys just have poison types and such. Oh, now your Pokemon looks strong. You willing to sell it? You're willing to sell them? Oh, you wanted to battle? I mean, I guess. Don't tell me you're gonna have Grimer. No? Okay, Hound Hour. Hound Hour is a dark fire type, so don't bother trying to use any psychic moves on it, because Dark is completely immune to psychic. Which is nice. As long as you're not trying to fight it with like an Alexam or something that doesn't have, you know, the proper moves to take care of it. I mean, I guess like an Alexam, my Alexam could use like Shockwave on it and do reasonably well. But if he bites me, that's gonna hurt. Oh, but too much. Sorry. Yeah, let's see, I want to go, I kind of want to go back and get that item that I missed about a minute ago, but, yeah, this will get me to it, perfect, and we can't run in here, that's a shame, a pearl for selling fodder, that's not too bad, actually, okay, let's see if we can't figure out how to get to the other items, um, where will this one take me? Right back to where we were. Okay. And that'll take me to you. Did you come here? Did you come here knowing it's Team Rocket's warehouse? Uh, actually, yes. The, there was a big picture and everything when I entered the building. Ah, chow. 
Please just have all my child family. That'd be great. Make my life really easy. And we get the crit. Beautiful. Okay, more chops. I mean, I was hoping for like a Machoke or a Machamp, but you take what you can get. And one more. Okay, Machoke. That's slightly more experience. Instead of like the 600 experience, probably like 9 or 11. So, good enough for me. And goodbye, sir. I'm not sure why flying is actually super effective against fighting. I can get that it I can get that it's harder to hit if they're flying around, but I don't know why they take extra damage from it. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to figure it out. What do you think you're doing? I guess maybe if you think of like a gust attack, they'd be able to blow them away with with wind or something. Alright, where is this gonna take me? Right back there. Now, I want to see where this particular path right here takes me. Okay, right back there, easy enough. Okay, this downward path just takes us... Oh, right here, perfect. We could have just got this anyways. They had a big pearl for selling, awesome. Yeah, we could have just got that anyways. Oh well. Um... Yeah, I think we have to go here. Shouldn't be terribly hard to get to the rest of the place that we gotta get to. Let's see here. Right, perfect. And... Yeah, we gotta get over there. Okay, the top one goes to the same path as this bottom one, which just takes us over here. Okay. So unless there's something on that middle path, and there's not really a whole lot else going on here we can do. Just gotta find a slightly different route. Alright, middle path takes us... Yeah, pretty much the exact same spot. Where the heck do we go? Team Rocket broke up? What planet are you from? Uh, the planet where Team Rocket broke up? Sorry, dude. Let's see here... These just go... Yeah, back over here. Where the heck do we go to get out of this place? I have no idea. Okay, that gets us over there. This takes us back out to the exit. But there's nothing we can do this way. Hmm. Yeah. I do be slightly stumped. Oh, I wonder if we have to go to... right here. No? The heck do we go? I have no idea. I mean, there's only so many of these damn tiles we can go on. Yeah, it just sticks us right there. Unless there's like a switch to turn these things around that I'm not seeing. Let's talk to the other lady that we beat and see what she has to say about it. We can give you a great price. Sell us your Pokemon. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Oh, those are cages. Okay, don't mess around with the machine. I was hoping that was going to say, oh, it does the buttons, but apparently not. All 
I wonder if... That kind of telephone in the middle right there does anything for us. Yeah, right there. Possibly, but the problem is just getting to it. Now that it takes us right back over there. Son of a bitch. Many Pokemon locked away in the pen. Well, that sucks for them. Especially gonna suck for them if I can't figure out how to get to them to help them. I mean, I'm trying here, but I am not having the best of luck. Okay. This might be... Okay, I think this might help us out here. Lights in different colors are flashing on and off. Okay. No. No. Okay, what about you? No. How the heck do I do anything in this place? Uh, there's gotta be something we press to change the... Change the arrows. But what? See if there's like a back entrance over this way. Well, there's a PP up, which is nice. Pop our max repel real fast. bike and see if there was anything back here that I missed. No, it's completely surrounded on all sides by trees, so it's not going to be doing anything there. Okay, yeah, it's just a bunch of movement tiles. There's not a whole lot going on here, dude. Sorry. It's not as mysterious as you would like it to be. Okay, so this goes over here again. That's fine. Yeah, neither one of these actually help us out. Okay, the vents don't do anything. That doesn't really help us. I see some place that I want to try to get to, but I'm not sure if we can. Uh, again, I'm not sure if it'll actually help us or not, but I want to get to... No, never mind. I was going to say that little stop tile right there in the middle, but no, that's not going to actually bring us anywhere. We want to get to the middle, and then we can just walk around. Okay, I see what we gotta do, but the problem is we gotta get to the middle. Okay. I am being not very smart here. Damn it. Alright, let's try... This... Okay, and then we want to get to... Let's see... The middle? Perfect, okay. There we go. I was just trying to go around the long way, and I just failed miserably. Okay, this is not as hard as I made it look, guys. 
Sorry. TM36, Sludge Bomb. That is a powerful poison type move, which is really nice. I don't know if any of our members can use it. And really, I think poison is only super effective on grass in this game. I think in the first couple generation of games, it used to be effective on bug as well. But now, it is not. Yeah, you guys can't even learn it. Uh, let, me, let me make sure that it's only effective on grass. Because, yeah, it used to be more effective on... It used to be more effective on bug types, but now it's not. Here, let me actually see here. Let's see. Yep. Only double damage to grass, and then half damage to poison, ground, rock, and ghost. So not a great offensive type, but then again, at the same time, a lot of other stuff doesn't resist it entirely. So not a horrible offensive type, just doesn't get a whole lot of extras. I got word about you from the others. But there's no way a kid like you'd know our boss Giovanni. I mean, I've talked to him, like, a bunch. And beat his ass, like, a bunch. So, I know him reasonably well, yeah. Hypno, how you doing there, buddy? Are you trying to put anybody to sleep today and kidnap him, kidnap him like the way that you do? I mean, that's just a weird hobby no matter how you look at it. But, hey, I ain't gonna kink shame. I mean, if you just want to... Put yourself to sleep, that'd be great. And by the way, you lost a lot, you lose a lot of weight when you evolve, because you go from a chubby little tapir to a orange dude with a, with a neck beard and a big nose. Hypno again. No, we'll stay in. As a matter of fact, we'll see how well Rock Slide does against you with a nice bunch of power there. Pretty decently. And we are confused, which pumps up our attack. Or, we got confused and our attack got pumped up. So it's... If we hit ourselves, we're going to be doing a lot of damage. But if we hit them, we'll be doing plenty of damage as well. Nice. If you're, if you're immune to confusion from a ability, I don't know if you actually can be affected by that move. Probably. Don't. You. Dare. Laugh. I mean, you being sad isn't really funny, but it's just more sad. Don't mess in the doings of adults. You jumped up pips, pipsqueak. Don't mess in the doings. Okay. I mean, feel free to talk good there, sir, but whatever you got to do. Uh, I need to get whoever has the amulet coin. Um, hot dog does it, doesn't he? Luckily, I don't think those Hypnos bother to do any damage to us. They were too busy trying to buff up. So that worked out pretty good for us. I don't know or care if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I just put my faith in Giovanni and do as I'm told. Then that makes you an excellent underling. Don't ask questions. Just do. And it also makes you excellent for having a muck. Which does plenty of damage and absorbs lots of hits. If I remember correctly, Grammar and Muck actually have the same weight, despite the fact that Muck is decently bigger, like, size-wise, than Grammar. But yeah, you actually have a Hyper Potion? Okay. I, I guess you're a mini-boss, because you're an admin. But yeah, Grammar and Muck actually have the same weight for some reason. And I'm not going to bother Earthquake in this guy, simply for the fact that I don't want to miss with his Minimize there. I know Stomp does extra damage to Pokemon that are Minimized. I don't know if it ignores the Accuracy debuff, or, or the Evasion buff, or whatever it is. I'd like to think it doesn't, or, or it does ignore it, but I have no idea. 
Bye bye, Arbok. Uh, you might actually survive this because you intimidated me. You survived with a sliver of health, you rat bastard. Oh well. There you go. And a vile plume. Uh, no, we can stay out for that. Terry, you're just having a fun old time out here, and that's fine by me. That is less fine by me, but you know what? I think we're still going to be almost as fast or faster with our paralysis here. No? I was hoping. I mean, I know Aerodactyl is ridiculously fast, so that was my... That was my dream. I think we did enough to, yeah, to hit KO you. Perfect. I, I'm shattered. You put up a good fight. You're doing things according to your beliefs and morals. I understand now. I made it so you can come back in through, through there. Why don't you go get rested and refreshed for what lies ahead? The admin after me outranks me thoroughly as a trainer. You better steal yourself for one harsh challenge. Oh, so did he, like, turn off these things? He did not. Dang it, I thought, I thought she turned those off. Dang it. Oh, that's a shame. Um, actually, no, we don't need a full moo milk. We just need a fresh water or soda pop. Okay, I'll meet you guys back up there. You don't have to watch me fumble around and try to figure out how to get back up there. Alright, I could have gone and healed up my PP and stuff, but you know what? I think we'll be more than fine, so let's go ahead and talk to this dude. I was going to sneak past him and see what was up there, but no such luck. That's quite enough for you playing the hero, kid. Spreading lies about how Team Rocket has disbanded. It's such an obvious attempt to cause confusion in our ranks. Fortunately, we're not so ignorant to fall for the lies of a child. And now, I'll show you how scary and angry adult can be. I love those comics where you got a Team Rocket member getting challenged by a 10 year old and they got a gun on their belt and their finger itches and they grab the Pokeball next to the gun instead and they're like, oh, I couldn't have possibly done anything about this. Those are beautiful. Just like this gold back going down in one rock slide is beautiful. Perfect. I didn't need it to be psychic to know that was going to happen. There you go. That's beautiful. Ooh, nice attack boost. Houndoom. Uh, that's the evolved form of Houndour. And, again, pretty good, actually. Really good with a uh, special attack. Not like Alexam good, but... Yeah, I think more like Starmie good or something like that. So still good enough. So yeah, it's special attacks like Crunch which is basically a better version of Bite with more power, and it reduces special defense instead of flinching. Yeah, that does plenty of damage here. Weezing! Um, yeah, let's switch out for... Simon. Except for the fact that we can't Earthquake the dude. There you go. Bye-bye. The ad or the admin or whoever this guy was wasn't terribly tough. Alright, just another admin. Ugh, you were too strong. Th th that's Giovanni's badge. So it's true? Team Rocket really has disbanded? I mean, that's what I've been trying to tell you guys. You guys could have just let me through and not, not fought me or anything, but whatever. We will bend in this warehouse, but don't think this is over. I won't let this be the end. I will find Giovanni and I will resurrect Team Rocket. I will. Until then, farewell. I mean, okay. You probably have a ways to go. I almost managed to sell the Sapphire for huge money. Then you just had to come along and blow the whole deal apart. <laughs> There's no forgiveness for you. Oh. I didn't realize you were going to fight me. I mean, it makes sense. But I didn't think he was actually going to fight me. And actually have a decent amount of Pokemon. So, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Hey, we're faster than a Voltorb. If he actually has an Electrode, that might be faster than us, but 
Terry is fast enough that with a 10 level advantage, he probably would be faster than him, actually. Electrode, let's see. Like an equal level electrode would probably definitely be faster. But yeah, we're doing A okay here. That's fine by me. Magnemite, again. You're just gonna get nuked by the ground type attacks here, and that's perfect. I don't know why scientists are such big fans of electric Pokemon. I, mean, I guess they would like power their laptops and stuff, but you'd think that Psychic would be good for them because Psychic has brain power, and you know, scientists are nerds and brainy. I mean, it works. Being able to just KO them all with one Pokemon. But you'd think that, I don't know, I just always thought they would have psychic types. And Porygon. I don't think we've actually seen this thing yet. I have the money to just buy the coins at the casino now. Yeah, there we go. It's a little digital Pokemon. It's all. It's all hexagons and shit. It's all. Like wire. wire framed almost. And the upgraded, the upgraded version is all steam, streamlined and sleek and smooth, and it looks really nice, actually. I like it. Ah, darn, darn, darn. Luckily, this is a kid's game, and you can't say the other words. If I can't sell it, it's worthless. Go ahead, take it. Yeah, we got our Sapphire back, finally. Yay. Alright, let's go ahead and turn that into Celio real fast. Shouldn't take too long to get over there. I think we might just actually be able to fly to the island. I'm not sure, actually. No, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, we're... We're a bit too far away. Yeah, screw it. Let's fly to, let's fly to Four Island. Why not? I think as long as the islands are on the same maps, the map thing right there, then you can fly to them. But because they're slightly... Well, it's not on the map right there. We can't fly to it, unfortunately. And that's a shame. You'd think you'd be able to fly anywhere in the Savi Islands, but... I guess our Firo gets tired after a little while. Can't really blame it. Yes, I do want to heal. I probably should have done that a while ago, but you know what? Yeah, we would have had to heal after that boss anyway, so why not? And there we go. There's your Sapphire, the buddy. So this is this is the gem that forms a pair with the ruby. Poodle, you've gone through a lot to get this, didn't you? You don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's my turn to work for you. Please, give me a little time. Okay, this is good. I did it! I linked up with Lynette. Poodle, Poodle, I did it! I've managed to link up with trainers in the Hoenn region. Finally, the network machine is fully operational. Poodle, I owe it all to you. Thanks to you, my dream came true. What dream? I, I'm not crying. That's enough about me. Poodle, you're going to keep looking for exotic Pokemon, right? I wish you the best of luck. Okay, so what this does is if you have a copy of... Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald, the third generation games, and the first Game Boy Advance Pokemon games, you can trade with those games now and get Pokemon from Hoenn, which has a lot of good Pokemon, actually. Unfortunately, I don't have that right now since I'm playing it in order, but yeah, you can trade in your starter from over there, you can trade in your your good Pokemon from over there, all, of that, all that other good stuff, but there we go. We have got the trading machine up and running. Next episode, we're going to explore the final Civi Island, Seven Island. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.